Hello everybody, Professor B. Schweikelhausen from Rick Films University here, and I'm here right now with a quick lesson on the Logitech webcam software. Webcams are really nice cameras to use for stop motion, and Logitech makes some of the better ones, especially ones like the one I have, the Quick Cam Pro 9000, and even some other ones like the HD310 can do pretty well for animations. But the software can be a little confusing. I'm doing this as a special video for LEGO Works Studios 1, so uh, thanks for the suggestion, and here it is. So after you've downloaded Logitech webcam software from the Logitech website, you have to go through support downloads, it's very circuitous, it's hard to find, uh, and you download it and run it, it'll look like this little tiny icon down here when it's running. So you just click that and it brings up the webcam software main menu. So to control your webcam, you just click webcam controller, and then I'm going to use quick capture to show it, but a lot of other programs like Premiere, Elements, which is what I use, have stop motion capture, God, stop motion capture things built in. Cancel. Sorry. Didn't expect this. Skip. Down. Okay, we're good. So uh, you got quick capture here. So right now you can see a little preview of a set I've made. Hello. And uh, right now, you can see this guy is in focus, this handsome guy. Uh, I don't want him in focus. I want the back of this guy's head in focus for some reason. So over here, you can see that I've turned autofocus off, and that's probably good, because autofocus always likes to focus on the back wall, and it doesn't like focusing up close. It really enjoys only focusing very far back. So when it's off, you just drag the little slider towards the flower until what you want is in focus, just like that. And you can see now that this guy is very much in focus. And that's good. So uh, another setting you want to keep off is right light. That What that will do is it'll change your white balance and mess up settings to make it look better just all the time. And I don't know why I did that. It will make your animation very flickery. So if you want to adjust light settings manually, you just click Advanced Settings. Now under here you can see all this stuff. Uh, I don't really know what some of it does, but you can turn some of the light settings off of auto. I recommend using the automatic settings to make it find something right, then turning them off so they can't rethink partway through. So you can see right lights off and both these auto things are off. It's usually best to uh, keep keep as many settings on manual as you can so they don't change on you. Uh, that's pretty much it actually with this video, it's just a quick one. Special thanks to LEGO Work Studios for suggesting it. And yeah, uh, class dismissed, thanks for coming.